is Jesus. Rick Caruso is introducing his kids to a family whose education he helped sponsor. He said Jesus is going to be the mayor after I am, which is great. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Caruso has helped hundreds and hundreds of kids like Jesus over four decades. It's one of the reasons, quite frankly, that I'm really excited about becoming the mayor, because I get to really amp it up. Caruso says he first learned about service from his Italian immigrant grandparents, who came to Boyle Heights in the 1920s. They came here with nothing, um, that moved to Boyle Heights, didn't know the language, didn't have any money, just had a dream to have a better life for their family. As modest as they were, their rule was there's always room at the table. There's always a seat at the table. And there's always a way to help people. 30 years ago, Caruso and his wife Tina started donating and volunteering at an early education center called Para Los Niños. To get there, parents have to walk through L.A. Skid Row. They take their kids to that school starting from three months old to six years old. They have to cross that sea of inhumanity, but when you open up those doors, it is literally a slice of heaven and hope combined. The Tina and Rick Caruso Early Education Center at Parlos Ninos provides parents with tools to help their kids out of poverty. The biggest problem is that Tina and I are both crybabies, so. <laughs> it's emotional for you to, to see those kids. What goes, what goes through your mind when you see them? It's, it's not sadness. It's, it's literally tears of joy that these families work so hard. The moms and dads are living and working on the Skid Row area, normally in the garment district, something like that. But to have that kind of hope and belief and love of your child, hmm. to have the gift of going to a school that's going to give your child a chance for a future, that's what is just inspiring. Seeing them makes him reflect on his own family's journey. It reminds me of my grandparents. You know, they, that was them. The Carusos would often bring their own kids along to learn from these families. Can you talk for a moment about what your kids mean to you? Oh, now you're going to make me cry again. <laughs> you know, um, I'll bundle it up with Tina. They're the dearest things in my life. They're the thing that I care about the most. They're the beginning and the end of my day. The Caruso family is exceptionally close. The adult children and their parents meet for dinner several times a week. They have a real sense of humanity and a real sense of purpose and of care and love, literally of their fellow man and woman. And there's a pureness to them that inspires me. And I'm just, I'm so proud of them. We sat down with his kids for their first TV interview of the campaign. Welcome, guys. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. This, this is the first time you've done something like this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it is on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Alex is a 32-year-old real estate attorney. Gianna, or Gigi, is a 22-year-old fashion designer and entrepreneur. Justin is a 27-year-old DJ and music producer. Greg is a 31-year-old director and filmmaker. He joined us via Zoom while battling COVID. What is it about your dad that you love so much? I love that he's really down to earth. He is like a best friend to all of us. Um, and, and that's what means the most to me. He loves to have fun. He loves music. He loves singing. He loves to tease us. He is genuinely just like the sweetest, most compassionate, loving person ever. He's so personable. He's always conducted his life with great integrity and compassion. They learned a lot about service during all those trips to Para Los Niños. He taught us that service is part of our responsibility um, as human beings, frankly. There was so much joy in it, especially being with kids. You're with the most beautiful, cutest little kids ever. They're all so happy. Watts traditionally has always been a violent place. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! 2018, Greg made a film called A Week in Watts profiling another program his dad helps to fund called Operation Progress. Living in a place like in Watts can't stop you from looking up to your dreams. There are incredible, incredible kids who are going through things that no child should have to endure. Eight to like 13, that's where my focus is at. Because
Operation Progress pairs an LAPD officer mentor with a third grade student, often at the Nickerson Garden Housing Project. The officer gets to understand the community better, the families get to understand the officers better. So you build trust, which is the key in law enforcement. The officer stays active in the kid's life through high school. They have a 100% high school graduation rate. Caruso has given over 300 of the kids scholarships, many headed to top colleges. Columbia, Stanford, USC, Boston College. How about that? Hmm. These are kids that have grown up sleeping on the floor in the projects because at night there could be a chance that a bullet comes through the window. Caruso has been volunteering in Watts since then LA Mayor Tom Bradley introduced him to activist Sweet Alice Harris 40 years ago. We were with them in May as she endorsed him. He gonna get to be mayor and I'm gonna still work with him. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> so is this elementary school? This is elementary, so this is K through eight. On this day, Caruso shows us around St. Lawrence of Brindisi in Watts, one of the schools Operation Progress sponsors. How lucky are we that we can help them? Some of Caruso's commitment to community is rooted in a deep religious faith. I believe that everybody needs to believe in something bigger than themselves. You can call that faith, you can call it whatever you want. At USC, he founded the Caruso Catholic Center, which he says provides mentorship for all faiths. What it gives me is hope. It gives me a bigger picture. It minimizes the day-to-day -day problems we all have as human beings. Caruso says he's also guided by counsel from his kids. It's this commitment that family is always first and foremost in your life, and that's what you gravitate to, and that's your North Star. What's Rick Caruso the dad like? He's so fun. <laughs> He's always there to give us advice, just to talk to about anything. The kids say it's been tough to watch some of the attack ads against their dad during the campaign. It's hard not to scroll on Twitter and like get out of that. Um, I would say for me, being his daughter, the everything surrounding him and pro-choice would be the thing that, why am I gonna get upset? <laughs> like what? It's emotional. But you love him a lot. My position is clear and it always has been clear. I support a woman's right to choose, period. Caruso says as mayor, he'd protect abortion rights in Los Angeles. He has tried to say it over and over, pro-choice and pro-choice and pro-choice, and there's still people that are not understanding that he genuinely is. So it's frustrating. What do you think um, is the biggest misconception about your dad as all these things are being said about him? They could think he might be cold because he's this successful businessman and couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, he's actually probably the, the warmest human being I know. Caruso says in the wake of a racist conversation being leaked between L.A. City Council members, listening to communities like this one is essential. There needs to be a hope that the great American dream is, is here in Los Angeles. And so my fear is that we get stuck. And that's where the mayor really becomes important to constantly remind people we are moving forward and we're, we've got your back and we're here to serve you. As mayor, he hopes to inspire others to serve however they can. If everybody just does a little bit, whatever that may be, to help somebody that needs some help, the city changes so dramatically so quickly.